everybody! So if you saw from the title of this video, this is going to be my last month with Ipsy. We've had a good run. I think I've been doing it about a year and a half now, maybe close to two years, and there's been a lot of amazing products that I've seen come through, a lot of amazing bags, and overall I've been generally happy with Ipsy, except for the last couple of months. Things have just gotten really repetitive, um, products that I don't use that often, things I'm not looking for, and it just haven't been wowed. So I figured, why continue with something if I'm not loving it? I may subscribe again in the future because I do think it's a good price, $10 for the bag, but I'm just over it for the moment. So this is my last bag. I've officially canceled, moved on to BoxyCharm, but I thought I'd show you what I got in my last bag. This is September 2015, the Canada edition. So that is the bag there. It's like a light bronzy. Bag. It looks longer than the normal ones, but uh, it's definitely not my favorite bag. Still have yet to find a purpose for all these bags. Alright, the first thing is from Acure, and actually I've heard really good things about this brand, um, so I'm excited for this. It's a brightening facial scrub, and I do like trying out new scrubs. So this one's a win. Bring it in close so you can see. That's what it looks like. Um, it's a pretty decent size, so pretty happy with that. The next product is from NYX, and it's Ipsy Love, Loves NYX Palette 01. Um, I'm not a huge fan of NYX eyeshadows, to be honest. That's what it looks like. It's a bronzy type palette. I'll swatch them for you. See, they are quite powdery and chalky like. I don't know, I haven't had the best result with. Uh, NYX eyeshadows, they're not that pigmented and they are quite powdery, so not a huge fan of that. The next one is in a bag, it's from Nao Bay Natural and Organic Oxygenating Cream Moisturizing. So it's a moisturizer, um, again, it's not something I get super excited about, but I do use these, so I will give it a go. Lots of skincare. See, I like bags where you get more makeup. This next one is from JCAT Beauty. It's the waterproof slide-on pencil for eyes, and the color is bronze. So it's a full-size pencil, which is great. We've received a few things from JCAT Beauty. Let's see what the color looks like. The very fine tip. It's quite pigmented. There it is there. So that's nice. I wonder if that would go in your waterline. I don't know that I would put bronze in my waterline, but it says waterproof, so curious about that. And then the last product is from EE, -E, Natural and Organic Cream Blush Ash from Evelyn, Evelyn Ona? I'm not sure, but it's a tiny little baby cream blush, so curious if my cream blush brush, yep. Yeah, my blush brush will just fit in there, my stippling one. I do love cream blushes, so I was excited to see it. That's the color there. Let's take a look how it swatches. It's like a dusty rose color, a pinky dusty rose. There it is there, so it's quite pretty. I do love cream blushes, I will give this a go. So my last bag for Ipsy is definitely not a dud. I love the cream blush and the face, the facial scrub, so those are wins. The moisturizer, the eyeshadow, and the eyeliner are all okay. They're not, there's no dud products, that for, that's for sure. But I'm moving on to BoxyCharm, so I hope you guys enjoyed my last month with Ipsy, and thanks for watching, bye!